This is the time of the year where everyone is getting their receipts together, gearing up for tax time. Searching for your receipts, though, for your donations can be really difficult. Author, blogger, and authority on all things giving, Laura Wells McKnight is here to help us out. Laura, you're talking about something that's been around for a long time, but it's just now becoming really popular, donor-advised funds. I know. What it's are those? a donor-advised fund, and it, it's a teeny bit complicated, but we can break it down because people are asking about this. More and more people are setting these up. There are $70 billion in these things already. So what is it? So if you picture like a checking account for charitable giving, okay, like a, like a bank account, but it's only for charitable giving. So a lot of people, as you said, are getting really tired of getting to tax time and saying, where are my receipts right. for charity? I, and digging it up and the accountant is saying, where did you give? How much did you give? We need all the deductions. So right. a lot of people are setting up a donor advised fund they put money into an account, okay, and immediately when they put money in the account, it qualifies for a tax deduction. Oh, so one if you, receipt. So if you say you donate, well, you know, a thousand dollars a year to charity. Yep. You just take that grant at the beginning of the year, put it in a donor advised account. You got it. And that's it. That's you don't it. have to account for how you, you gave it or no. How can they make sure no one's cheating or fooling? Because you? the place that you set up a donor advised fund a community foundation or financial institution keeps track of it for you. So oh, okay. you get the tax deduction, and then over time, you get to say, I want $100 to go to the Red Cross, I want $100 to go to Boys and Girls Club, I want $200 to go to my church, I want $1,000, or if you've got more in there, $1,000 to go wherever you want it to go. That's a really good idea. It's Is that like a flexible spending account very for similar. your kids' braces? Yeah, or what and that's have a good way to put it. So mm -hmm. these are, people are sometimes afraid of them because they're thinking, this is kind of complicated. But it is a very simple charitable checking account that allows you to consolidate your charitable giving, mm -hmm. get a tax deduction immediately, and then spend the dollars on charity the way you want. If you don't use it, do you lose it? No. Carries over for you. don't have to spend it in that year. Some people set one up and say, you know, this year I've got $5,000 because I've sold a business okay. or had some stock. And they can keep it in there for as long as they want. They may want, may want to keep it for their kids to give away to charity. And someone watching at home that wants, to, what do they do? They want to do this? Do they just go to their regular bank and say, I want a donor advised account? They can go to a community foundation. So there's a community foundation here in Kansas City called, uh, well, go to growyourgiving.org. Mm -hmm. um, and they can also go to lots of financial institutions offer these vehicles. But they are very popular. More and more people are asking, what are they? So it's worth just breaking it down to- That's a the, good idea. Yep, charitable checking account.